okay so uh, for example this is my github repository okay so uh, I in, in the beginning I created this repository on github and then I clone it to my computer okay this is my computer uh, maybe we can make it a little zoom so it could work better okay so this is my computer okay so now I make changes in the repository and I push back to this github repository okay so this github repository or a remote server for my repository is simply a remote okay in in git vocabulary okay so uh, so when I make any changes it's up to me I wanted to push that changes on remote or not okay so every time I push changes on remote and you can see it on github okay and then your computer comes in okay you can clone the same repository from the same remote in your computer okay so this is called remote in your computer okay so uh, now a repository may have a multiple remote okay a repository may have multiple remote okay so this is my computer for example okay I can make another remote okay another remote on github or any other remote provider or maybe on a local computer on my network for example I have uh, several computers on my network so I can make a uh, remote any of those computer or uh, there are lots of uh, providers for example github gitlab and microsoft git and google git or whatever there are lots of provider so I make another remote uh, with nothing inside it okay empty repository a real empty and I push this repository on this remote okay so to push my this repository in a new remote what I need to do is I need to add a new remote in this uh, repository okay by running the command uh, which is git remote add and then remote name and then address a URL address of that remote okay so you might have done the same thing when you were pushing your copy uh, to the to the new remote okay so after adding a new remote what I can do I can I can simply run the command uh, git push uh, uh, so it will simply push it to the new remote but this time only git push will not work okay you have to write uh, the name of new remote when you're pushing because your local repository have two remotes so if you if you run the command just git push it will not understand okay so you have to specify on which remote you wanted to push the changes okay so i can push on this remote i can push on this remote as well okay so I have both remote on board okay so uh, for example in the beginning when I clone this to my computer okay this repository will already have a remote with a default name origin okay with the default name origin so uh, when you will add a new remote okay you will add a name anything like remote 0 to 1 okay remote 0 to 1 or anything so there will be two remote first the origin which was the um, uh, original uh, remote and the second is remote 0 to 1 for example so uh, what will you do you will write the command on command line git push okay origin or uh, git push origin master okay master is the branch name which is the default branch okay or if you wanted to push to the second remote you will write the command uh, git push uh, uh, remote 0 to 1 master okay now it comes uh, to uh, your for example you make another remote 
okay you push the changes to this remote okay you can do that no problem so now your repository will also have two uh, remote okay and the and, and sometimes we do that okay sometimes we do that uh, because because we wanted to make another copy on remote so like uh, like a safe copy as a backup and all so uh, these uh, remotes are very useful if you have a multiple remote in your um, for example in your repository it will it will help you in a in a uh, several things okay so this is this is a very simple this is a very simple thing okay just make it simple again okay so we have two local repositories pointing to the same remote down here okay this one and we have a new remote which is pointing to this one okay now let's have a look of uh, the command line okay how it works so uh, get Git commands okay so here are the all git commands git clone git add git comment and everything you can also see the documentation of this uh, git okay basic git commands and examples okay here's the git reference this is the official website git dash scm Okay, so let's go to the uh, oh, oh what? Okay. Lots of ads. Okay, get remote. Here it is. Okay, so as I told you, everything works on the command line. Okay. Okay, so this is the command for adding a new remote get remote add origin which is the name of new remote okay and the address and the url address okay i just forget to tell you another thing that uh, oh, oh, what happened okay just forget to tell you another thing that uh, doodle 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 yes doodle works okay i told you i make a repository on github and then i take clone in my computer okay this could be other way around this could be other way around i can make a repository in my computer first and then i can add a remote in this repository and then i can push to that remote okay this could be also the case so uh, if you wanted to make a new repository in your local computer you you write command git in it okay git in it and it creates a simple empty repository in your folder okay and then if you wanted to push that repository on a remote okay it's up to you most of the time uh, you don't want it to have a remote repository okay for example if you're working on local computer and all you don't need that okay so uh, in in our case until you uh, you don't ask me for the code access and all I didn't had this uh, github repository okay so when I when I had to give you access I then created this repository quickly and then I push all the code uh, to this repository very quickly so uh, I just added the remote okay with the command uh, okay with this command Uh oh where it is uh, every time it show very very annoying ads okay so this this is the command for adding a remote okay so the origin is the default name most most of the time okay and then it is using git push origin master okay so it is pushing the changes on a remote which is named as origin okay 
origin master origin master get push all origin that that could be also the case okay delete remote add remote you can do everything you can also list uh, the remote they don't have the command here for listing the remote for example list all remote get okay how can i list all remote and get what i'm not talking about the tv remote yes okay so this is the command get remote show origin okay or just get rem uh, it could be another command like uh, get remote minus minus show and all uh, okay so this is the command actually for uh, get remote show origin it is to check the URL of a specific uh, a remote okay if you have a remote named origin and you know that you can see the URL of this remote using this command but how to uh, list those remote uh -uh. okay A list of remote for a git repository here it is okay git dash uh, git a space remote minus v okay so this this uh, guy have four uh, remote so here are the following result okay git remote or git remote minus v okay v for verbose okay if you do not include the minus v it will show you a very very big result okay get remote minus v this is the command okay so you you may run this command to see the all available remotes okay in the ui tools this is a pretty pretty easy i mostly use the smart git and it is very very easy to handle uh, multiple remotes as the at the same time uh, using that GUI tool uh, but uh, you you have to you have to have understanding of the command line to uh, to do things in a better way using the GUI tools even thank you very much for listening to me that long time <laughs> sorry for a little bit longer video